Hey all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. So a few weeks ago, I did a video talking about amazing products that I really liked that were under $20. In that video, I mentioned that I had found a whole bunch of products, like when I was looking in my collection for those that were under $20, I kept finding products that were in the range of $20 to $25, this like very specific range. And I asked you all if you wanted to see a video with those products and like I kind of was expecting maybe like one or two people to be like, yeah, that'd be fun. A ton of you wanted to see this video. So I'm cheating a little bit though, I have to admit. So this video is going to be for products that are between $20 and $30. And the reason that I wanted to do this is because a lot of people have told me, and I've heard this a lot of times, that kind of like $30 is the most that they want to spend for makeup, that they feel like they can find these great items that don't cost a whole lot. So $30 is kind of like the limit that they're willing to go. These are gonna be items between $20 and $30. So these might feel a little more bougie than the items that were $20 and under, and I feel like these are little ways that you can treat yourself. I do also want to say that today's video is sponsored by a brand whose items are between $20 and $30. Today's video is sponsored by Liquid IV. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Okay, so look, let's be honest here. This is what my summer has been. I've been sitting in my backyard. I've been enjoying the sounds of lovely nature and I've been hot. It has been so damn hot. The thing that has genuinely helped me, has genuinely helped me to hydrate, has been Liquid IV. I have talked about Liquid IV in the past and I'm full on addicted to it, okay? I am extremely addicted. So Liquid IV hydration multipliers come in these convenient pouches which are fantastic for travel. And all you have to do is dissolve them in some water and bam, you have your hydration drink right there. There are so many great flavors. I can't even decide which one is my favorite. Last time I talked about golden cherry, which is still an ultimate, ultimate favorite, but I think, I think there is a contender in Tropical Punch. Tropical Punch literally tastes like the stuff that your best friend's mom used to make when you were really little and it would be really hot out but you'd come inside for this. Basically what I'm trying to say is, the problem with summering in your backyard is that the neighbors feel the need to use power tools at all hours. I just freaking love it. I feel so much better when I am more hydrated. I feel so much more alert. I feel healthier. I just feel better and you will too. Editing Linda here to tell you that you can use my code GLITTERFALLOUT to get 15% off your order. Now. Their prices are already pretty damn low, otherwise I wouldn't even include them in this specific video. So with an extra 15% off, how can you go wrong? Like, do it now. Stay hydrated this summer, y'all. It is hot out there. Don't want anybody passing out. Don't want anybody having a fluster. Grab some Liquid IV, you will not be disappointed. Again, Tropical Punch, my favorite flavor. Golden Cherry, another favorite flavor. They have some that have extra additives, like this one, this is Yuzu Pineapple, which has an energy aspect to it. They have, uh, well, this is just another hydrator. This is Concord Grape. This is my husband's favorite. And then we have the tart green apple with kombucha. Get your gut in order. So when you're summering in your backyard with airplanes overhead and power tools nearby, keep hydrated with Liquid IV. So thank you so, so much to Liquid IV for sponsoring this video. Forgive me if my voice is still a little bit of hoarse. I am getting over round two of COVID. Yes, you heard me correctly. Round two. I have somehow had COVID twice in the month of July. How, how is this happening? All right. The very first product I want to talk about is one that I've only tried recently and I have fallen completely in love with it. So that is the Nabla Skin Glazing Highlight. So this shade is Privilege and it is this beautiful champagne gold highlight, but it's so light. But the thing is, these are so silky and creamy and smooth. Let me just blend this on my hand so you can see the shine on this. It is so natural looking and so beautiful. It catches the light in a way that looks 
very, very natural, but the pigments are so fine that this never looks chunky. It never looks glittery. It just looks beautiful on the skin and it doesn't accentuate your pores. It doesn't make your skin texture look more dramatic, which I think is really important in a powder because I feel like that can be hard to find. These are $24 each. I really think they're worth it. I definitely want to get more shades. So if you've tried the skin glazing highlights, let me know what your favorite shade is because I love, love, love this shade but now I need more next is my number one favorite cream blush formula of all time that is the melt cream blush light so I have currently all eight shades that had come out by the time you see this video two additional shades will have come out and I'm not sure whether or not I'm gonna purchase them I'm still on the fence I probably will though because like I said these really are my favorite cream blush formula of all time I will show you my absolute favorite shade which is Lynx. Lynx is this kind of bronzy gold on the cheeks, though it does pull a little bit warmer uh, pinky tones, but it is just, I don't know if you can tell how big of a dent I've made in this color. Some of them, like this one, have shimmer. Some of them, let me find you one that's more, um, not matte, I wouldn't call it matte, but it doesn't have shimmer to it. These are so emollient. They glide on the skin so beautifully. I haven't had a single one go patchy. And I'll admit, when I purchased all eight shades of this originally, I was nervous. I was like, you know what, I'm doing this. And at the time, I probably was doing it for a video so that I could have the whole collection. I have used all eight shades, I would almost say equally, but links I've used a lot more than anything else. But I use every single one of these shades. I use these very often. If you like cream blushes, I highly suggest you try these because they are so creamy and beautiful and pigmented and they just, they last on the skin. I, I can't sing these praises highly enough. They even feel moisturizing, you know, they just are so beautiful. I prefer those more shimmery shades. I feel like they are great in place of a highlight. Today though, I am wearing this one, which is Honey Thief, which doesn't have a shimmer to it. And you can still see some luminosity because I just realized that I forgot to put highlighter on today. How did that happen? I don't know how I keep forgetting to use highlighter before videos. I'm putting on some of that Nabla right now. So we can glow even more than we were. See, it's just like, it's just almost like such a natural glow. It catches the light so beautifully. And yes, I do love a blinding from space highlighter, but every once in a while, I also just like my skin to kind of glow naturally. And I feel like this does that job. Look at that. It is just so stunning. Oh my, I love this highlighter. I love this highlighter. I love it on top of these blushes. So yeah, I have Honey Thief underneath with now the Novelist skin, skin Glazing in Privilege over top. I just, I love these. And I don't know if I said it, but these cream blushes are $22 each. They will last you. I've had these now for quite some time and they've really lasted me with how much I've used them. Let's stay kind of on that cheek front. So this is one that I really haven't heard many people talk about. This is the Ofra Liquid Highlighter. So they did send these to me in PR and I am so thankful because these are so beautiful. So this shade is the lightest and the shade is Monroe. And these, first of all, I love that they come in a pump. I really don't love, like as much as I love, for example, the Flower Beauty Highlighter with that little puff ball at the end, I just feel like I'm constantly dabbing my own bacteria back onto my face, if that makes sense. So I just, I love a pump. Let me show you. And you can also, this is like a very precise pump. So you can get out a little bit or a lot. And the formula is just so creamy, but it is so, so reflective. Look at that. This is not as natural of a highlight, but you can also blend it out if you want and have it be much more natural looking, but it's still, look at the shine on these. Now, of course, you can also see like, you know, the bones in my hand <laughs> because I'm not 20, okay? This is just, look at it. I mean, I could watch a video where people swatch highlighters forever. Like I could watch a two hour long video of people just going like this with their hand because that gets me off. But really, these are just beautifully reflective highlighters and a little bit, I don't know if you saw, I pumped probably the size of like half of a pea on my hand and got this amount of glow. You know where this would look gorgeous is right here. We're doing it. Oh, that just makes the skin look so healthy. Look at that. Oh my God. I feel like it makes me look so, 
swoon. <laughs> So yes, this is the shade Monroe. They do have two other shades that are like, the next one up is only slightly deeper than this. And then the next one is very bronzy and deep and beautiful. And these are, let me see, $29 each. So I think this is the most expensive item I have on this list. Yeah, $29 is the highest I go. So maybe I should have said between 20 and $29. Nonetheless, these are so beautiful and I feel like they would last you a long time. I love how I'm kind of using all these products as the video goes along because I genuinely love them, but I don't know how I hadn't tried that like on my chest before because I feel like it just looks really just like, oof, oof, oof. For foundation, this is a big one I wanna talk about. So these are $29 each and I do have two shades because I had to mix them to get my perfect shade, but this is the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Tinted glow hydrator so this is a light coverage it's basically a tinted moisturizer but i feel like it has slightly more coverage than most tinted moisturizers they come with in a tube rather with this little pointed edge so you can i i'll be honest i kind of squiggle it on my face and then i blend it out from there but the finish on this is so beautiful this is what i'm wearing today and you can see it is just very skin like but it has that glow to it and it is very hydrating as it says it's called the hydrator this is something where i recommend this if you have normal to dry skin if you have oily skin i don't know that this would last very long on you i'll be honest this lasts very long on me and looks beautiful throughout the day i have normal again normal to dry skin i just i just really love the finish of it i just think it's it's beautifully dewy but it doesn't look oily it stays in place it does everything that i want a tinted moisturizer to do i really think that this is a fantastic suggestion under 30 dollars. i think most people will not need two shades and to be honest most times of the year i don't need two shades in the winter i am only the lightest shade in the summer i am only the deeper shade and this is 30 and this is 40. but it's like those in between times that i bought two to just mix and match but oh gosh i just I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to put some on right now. I'm just kidding. I'm not putting on more foundation. I'm just not going to do it. Okay, Sally? Let's move on to eyes. So the number one palette that I want to recommend. Now, there are lots of palettes that you can find for this range, right? This $20 to $30 range. But I kind of, like I said, I feel like this is where a lot of people are considered to be like the treat yourself category of pricing. So in that frame of mind, I want to recommend the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. A lot of people would probably say, why would I buy five shadows for 25 bucks when I could spend less than that and get like 40 shadows in like a Makeup Revolution palette? Because of the quality. So whether it's a Natasha Denona Big Palette or whether it's one of the mini palettes like this, the quality is the same. You're still going to like barely touch these and get this full, beautiful pigment that lasts. Look at that. I feel like that speaks for itself right there. Like, look at the quality, look at the shine. That is one swipe in the pan and one swipe on my hand. Like, I just, the quality is so good. With Natasha Denona pans, you are just going to put your brush in here, put it on your eyes, and it basically blends itself out. And I feel like with these mini palettes, she's really good at having these cohesive color stories where this is all you need to create a look. You've got a transition color, you've got a deeper color, you've got three shimmers to choose from. I just feel like these are really cohesive and this one especially the mini nude palette i feel like is so great for all skin tones and it's you can make this into like a deep dark smoky look you can make this into an everyday look i use the hell out of this palette and yes it's 25 dollars for five shades you're paying five dollars an eyeshadow let's let's call it what it is but the quality is worth it and this is like a really nice way to treat yourself this next thing, I have talked about this several times recently, but only because not only do I think it's really worth the money, I think the quality is so good and I want more people to take a look at it. So this is the Kaja Viva Shine Trio. So on the top, you do have this beautiful crystalline pressed glitter that is white with blue and purple shimmer in it. Then next, you have my absolute favorite shade, which is this beautiful champagne highlighter look at the way that catches the light just in the pan and then on the bottom for the eyes i wear this on the eyes a lot of people might wear this on their cheeks if they are deeper but this beautiful bronze rose gold shade that is so incredibly silky so incredibly metallic look at this 
boom and the shine I, it's like it's one of those shades that's so wet looking that it almost disappears in certain lights which i know sounds strange to say but i mean obviously right there it's very rose gold and bronze there it is so metallic that you just get this vibrant shine in the middle i, I just want to stare at it now it does have some very fine particle glitter in it this shade but it's not that comes off at all it's just in there enough where it catches the light so beautifully and looks so wet and so shiny and so for all three of these you're paying 28 bucks which i think is brilliant because you can layer all three of these easily like let's put the glitter on top of this so we can make it like i'm gonna put it just right in the middle there do you see how it shines right in the middle there even harder? Oh my God, look at that. I just really, really love this. And this is great. Yes, you can use these as highlighters. I love this as an eyeshadow because the metallic look is just so stunning and it's so wet looking and just delicious. I just want to eat it up. Oh my God. So next I want to talk about a mascara and it's going to be kind of weird that I'm showing this because I'm going to be showing you one that's brand new, but that's only because I've used my other tube and I'm waiting to open this brand new one until I finish some other open mascaras. But the Melt Cosmetics Supernatural Lash Mascara. So I'm going to put a picture of the brush right up here so you can see it. It is sort of that hourglass shape. And I have to admit, this is a more wet formula. But because of that, it really grips onto your lashes and extends them so beautifully and thickens them up so beautifully that you will have these thick, long, luscious lashes. I just really love this. And this retails for $24. I really feel like a lot of mascaras hit in that $24 range and I have had such good luck with $24 mascaras because the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, which is also still a high favorite, is exactly $24 as well. So maybe there's a $24 mascara conspiracy out there. Enter music and Illuminati symbols and shit. But this mascara is so good. So it originally came out with the Beetlejuice collection and I used that up all the way through. And again, I just, I can't wait to break into this. I almost want to throw away half my mascaras just so I can open this, but I promised myself on my low buy, I would use up some of these mascaras. So I'm just waiting. But if you are looking for a thickening, lengthening mascara, highly recommend this. It does also have more of a natural bristle rather than a plastic brush. Pretty much anything you'll ever find me highly recommending, I'm saying that right now, but anything you'll find me highly recommending usually has a bristle brush. I do not personally like plastic or rubber brushes, so this one just, oh, it's so good. For my eyebrows, when I want things to be easy, I always reach for this. So this is the Kosas Airbrow. It goes on almost like a mascara, so it does have a little spoolie at the end, and this has the right amount of tint and the right amount of hold to just be out the door with it, to just put yourself together a little bit more. Now, this is not one that's gonna really tint or really hold your, ow, my elbow. <laughs> this is not gonna super tint your eyebrows. It's not gonna super hold them in place, but it combs them into place just enough where you look nice and polished and put together. And it tints them just enough that it makes it look like you put in somewhat of an effort, even though all you did was spend literally maybe 10 to 20 seconds combing this through your eyebrows. It is so, so easy to just put on and be out the door again, just to feel a little more put together. This retails for $22. I really love this. And with a lot of Kosas products I've had, a lot of ones that are not dry. So the powder, I've had no issues with. But anything that's creamy, because this is a clean beauty brand, I've had issues with it going bad or smelling really quickly. I have not had that issue with the Airbrow. I will say that. I've had no issue with that. I've used this as my second tube. I've used it to the end, purchased another one. And it's not even that I use it super fast. It just doesn't go bad like some of the other ones do. So I do want to throw that out there. This is a clean, cr obviously cruelty-free beauty product. I just, I really love it for kind of just keeping my stuff together. I'm moving these blushes. They're hurting me physically. And the very last thing I want to talk about. So I only discovered this at the very end of last year during the Sephora VIB sale. This is the best dry shampoo I've ever tried. And let me tell you, I've tried a lot. And this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day PhD Dry Shampoo. I can't explain what makes this better than others, except that it just 
fucking works, okay? I feel like so many others, I'd spray it in and I'd do everything that I was supposed to. I'd spray it from far away, I would wait, I would massage it through like a shampoo and then my hair would still feel oily or greasy or like, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes wet. It would just feel gross. This soaks up the oil, it makes my hair feel clean again, it gives it volume, which for me, I always, always, always want more and more volume. And this is $28. But one thing that I will say is if you really like this, I do think 100% it's worth 28. But I was able to get two bottles of this on sale for something like $40. I think it was. It was definitely cheaper than if you were to buy two by themselves. So I was like, well, that's a given. So I purchased it. You know what? Let's, you can always use more, right? Give it a little bit of like, like you're actually shampooing your hair. Look at that. Look at the volume, the instant volume that it gives too. I just, I love it. If you've been looking for a dry shampoo, if you're like me, where you've tried 10 million of them and you've had trouble finding one that works, I would absolutely try this. And the very last item, which almost ran away from me, I thought this was the last item and it's not. So when it comes to lip liners, I want a lip liner that is smooth, that is creamy and that lasts because when my lipstick goes away after I'm done eating or something like that, I want my lip liner to still be there. I like to line my lips and fill them in before putting on lipstick because not only does that help your lipstick last longer, but when your lipstick is eventually gone, the liner will still be there. So the one that I have had really good luck with is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner. Now these are wood pencil lip liners, hands down my current favorite. These last so long, which is so, again, so important to me, and they go on so creamy, which is so important to me. Now my lips, you know, I'm 41 years old. My lips are not as uh, wrinkle free as they used to be. This does not accentuate wrinkles. It does not accentuate lip lines. It fills them in beautifully and just kind of makes things nice and smooth. And you just have this beautiful canvas to work with. And then again, when your lipstick is worn off, the lip liner is still there. Now this is my favorite shade, which is Iconic Nude, which I think next to Pillow Talk might be their number one, number two lip liner. I absolutely love this. I, I just think it's fantastic. It's a nice way, again, to treat yourself. So if you're looking for a really, really good set of lip liners, really recommend this. And that's it. I want you to leave in the comments below what your favorite products are in this range, because I feel like this is my range of, not necessarily, this is not my treat yourself range. This is my range of like, I want to get the next step up. You know what I mean? So it's like, if I previously was using a liquid liner that is like seven or eight dollars, I want a liquid liner next that maybe is like $25. That's really, really good. Just, it's a step up. You know what I mean? It's that good middle range of products. I wanna thank Liquid IV again so, so much for sponsoring this video. Again, there's gonna be links in the description box, but you can use my code GLITTERFALLOUT to save money. I am actually addicted to liquid IV. I really mean it when I say that, like I have to have it every single day now. And I mix up all the flavors and I feel like a little bartender, you know, mixing up my concoction, but just so good. So please everybody stay hydrated. If you like this video, I would love if you give it a thumbs up or comment or share. All those things help out my channel so much. All of this is gonna be linked in the description box down below. And if you choose to buy any of these and you shop through those links, thank you so, so much. That's such a nice way of supporting my channel. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. And I love you so much with my whole heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.